workers each year. So a good bit of the time of it, at our meetings, we're working on the wording for these markers. So this is the result of uh, our committee sitting down and working on this wording together. Um, I'd like to introduce at this time uh, the members of our committee. Our, our other co-chair is Joy Lane Hetz. And then our past co-chair, he was at one of our original co-chairs, is Bill Madam. He's a former city council member in Newport Richie. We have Shirley Hudson, Bob Brady, Margie Partain, Carolyn Falls, Eddie Herman, and Eddie has his wife Patsy with him. We have Norma Nelson and Leela Fudge. Leela's daughter Suzanne is with her today. And the staff person with growth management for Pasco County uh, that works with us is Jennifer Boa. Jennifer. Jennifer is the one that worked in conjunction with Mr. Gleason uh, in getting the location here. And we want to thank um, Jennifer for all of her work in making all of this possible today. We want to also recognize the president of your Silver Springs Golf and Country Club, Raymond Turner. Seven, Seven. Seven Springs, excuse me. And what did I say? Silver. Silver Springs. Oh, okay. 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 So, Seven Springs. Thank you. Um, and then Jack Gleason, your general manager. Uh, we appreciate all of their efforts as well. As you all know, I, I was getting a little bit of a primer before uh, the meeting, um, before we began. Uh, Bill Madam was telling me where the actual well house, spring house was. He told me it was a little bit further north here on a little road and to the right. If you stand at the bridge, you can look down and see the springs boiling. And that's about where the Stevensons had their, quote, resort years ago. Several were asking earlier about where was all of that. And uh, there was also a school building there, as you all read, that later became a residence. That's now in downtown Newport Ritchie, where the Historical Society has their headquarters. And uh, that was moved from here at Seven Springs out to uh, Sims Park downtown. Uh, so quite an interesting history. I hope all of you have had an opportunity to read the marker. Uh, we hope the marker will be a source of pride not only to the greater Silver Springs, Seven Springs community, <laughs> but also the Seven Springs Golf and Country Club. Um, is there anyone that would like to say anything about any memories of this location here? Um, Margie, yes. Well, believe it or not, I actually swum in the springs. Uh, Sally Frierson, who was a member of the Frierson's, was one of my Sunday school GA teachers a long time ago and she had a sleepover there for GAs and we would go swimming right there almost where the bridge is, just to the east of the bridge. The water was crystal clear and uh, it used to kind of scare us a little bit though because it used to have these big chunks of green algae floating down. Yeah. <laughs> but the water was just beautiful and, it was, and the banks were all sandy and, and really pretty. It was very pretty. And their house was high up on the bank above the spring. So it was really nice. When we were putting the marker, the wording for the marker together, um, we all enjoyed the uh, the part about the molasses truck that fell through the wooden bridge. So times have changed here, haven't they? It's not anything like it used to be. But anyone else like to say a few things? Well, at this time, I would like to call forward Raymond Turner. He's the president of your um, Seven Springs Golf and Country Club, and he'd like pleased and honored to have you here. We're grateful for the recognition. We're glad to be part of this whole story and we're grateful to the county commissioners and the historical society for this marker. We are around 850 members and residents of about 1,200 people. Most of us think that this has historical significance when we moved to Seven Springs. <laughs> Truthfully, none of us really realized that this way, dates way back to the early 1900s, and we're delighted to have this recognition of it. We thank you all for coming here, and we're delighted to have this marketplace here. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. 
originated our committee back in the mid-70s, mostly in preparation for the bicentennial. I think I'm pretty correct on that. We have several of our members. Bill Maidam was one of the original members. Um, do we have any of our other charter members of the committee? Leela Futch. And um, the county commission started this committee, and it kind of evolved into the committee that we are now. And through the years, the county commission has been good to allocate uh, some monies for us to place these markers around the county. And we're always looking for historically significant properties. On some buildings this morning, we placed a plaque on Our Lady Queen of Peace Catholic Church, the original uh, church building that's been moved to downtown Newport Ritchie. And in a few weeks, we'll be placing another marker out at Salt Springs at the Werner Boyce Salt Springs State Park. So be listening out for that. We'll make sure that gets in the newspaper. Many of you would like to come out and dedicate that marker. It'll be very similar to this marker, talking about the Salt Springs, the historical <laughs> significance of that area. Um, but uh, the county commission has been good to provide us with funding in the past. With budgetary constraints, they're not going to be providing us as much anymore, but we're going to be working with some local businesses and developers and getting some sponsorships so that we can continue our marker program and we do have several on tap that are going to be helping us out with this uh, so we hope to continue to place more markers uh, around Pasco County. At this time I would like to call forward our co-chair uh, Joy Lane Hetz. Joy has a little statement that she's going to read. She was the co-chair from the east side of the county. She was from Zephyr Hills and Alice had a way with words. And so, not long after Alice passed away, Bill Maidum sat down and tried to write down verbatim the flowery language that Alice would use whenever we dedicated a historical marker, uh, the dedicatory language. And so I'd like to ask Joy to come forward and read the words of Alice Hall as we dedicate our marker today. We dedicate this marker to the glory of God and offer thanks for the many blessings we have received. We further dedicate this marker to the hard-working pioneers that turned obstacles into accomplishments, when, which stand today as inspiration to all who seek knowledge of our historic past. May this now and into the future stand as a beacon for those that follow. the marker through the years and we're glad that we can be part of your community here. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.